You know what's awesome? What? Voting. I fucking love voting. You get the pen, you know, you do all the marks, you get a sticker. Participating in the democratic process, fulfilling your civic duty, all that. Super good stuff. The only bummer about voting is I just feel like I always have all these questions like, when am I voting? Where am I voting? Luckily, there's resources that can help answer all of those questions and even more. Uh, places like vote.org. They're a nonprofit that has everything you could ever want to know about voting listed on their website. Voter registration, all the ways you can vote, and even deadlines and guidelines by state. Well, it says here the next election's November 3rd. That, that's pretty close. That's right. Tuesday, November 3rd, 2020. Probably one of the most important elections of our entire higher lives. Please vote. First, there was Jack. Then, Ghost. And now, there's Frank. Frank was created in a virtual lab environment with Fusion 360. Most of his distinguished features were created using simple sketches. His hair was wrapped around his head using emboss, and his handsome scar was created with splines. A final touch of drafts were applied to his ears and brow to allow Frank to enter this world without supports. Over the course of 21 hours, filament was melted and layered according to the recipe written in G-code. And from these plastic bits, Frank came alive. Like those that came before him, it was envisioned that Frank would have two LED eyes to bring illuminated terror to all that looked upon him. But in these trying times, progress was screaming out. Light would shine from Frank, but with side-lit neopixel strips from the interior of his brow and his lower lip. But still more seemed required for him. Such a menacing presence demanded more intricate electrical guts. His brain, though, is cute. A cutie pie, to be precise, with onboard capacitive touch. And so from his bolts, current would flow, affecting the hue of his inner glow. So if this Halloween you see three pairs of glowing eyes, don't worry. It's just a trio of friends out for a fright.